Hello everybody, and how are you doing? We're back. I look identical, and I'm talking the same way, but that's okay, because we have a new video today, and we're going to be talking about how to know if you're a witch, or if you're just a poser. I don't know. I don't know your situation, so you just unsubscribe right now. Ugh. Let me tell you. I see this question everywhere. How do I know if I'm a witch? I see this YouTube videos everywhere and none of them explain it. They explain it in a Wiccan way. Well, yeah, you can be a witch if you're a Wiccan, but you can also just be a Wiccan without practicing witchcraft and no, you're not a pagan. So before anybody flips their lid, you're fucking wrong if you think that you're a pagan if you don't practice witchcraft, yet say you practice Wicca, okay? Let's just clear the air of that right now. I have been asked a couple times how to know if you're a witch. You know, some people will say they, they come from family lines where mom and dad practiced Wicca or witchcraft. Um, or even grandma currently practices, or some weird, crazy, psychotic aunt who practices witchcraft. And they want to know if they're a witch. How do you know if you're a witch? Well, let me ask you something real basic. When you go into a bookstore and you pick up a book on witchcraft or Wicca. That's mostly what they sell is books on Wicca. There's no real bookstore in Canada, at least, maybe in America, where they sell books specifically on witchcraft. It's all Wicca. That's okay though, because that's a good starting ground for most people, if not all. So when you pick up this book and you start flipping through it and you start looking at some of the text and images and whatnot, what resonates with you? Are you interested? Are you scared away? Do you not know where to begin? Well, the first thing I would suggest is to go out and just buy a book on witchcraft or Wicca or whatever it is you're into. Maybe you're into baby sacrificial magic. And go buy a book on it. Or if you have somebody who's actively practicing in your family, ask them some questions that you might have, like, what is a witch? What do you do? Do you sacrifice babies? Do you have sex with Satan? Yes, you do. Um, but no, seriously, ask them the questions that you have. Go to a bookstore and just pick up the first book you see on witchcraft and flip through it and see if anything is, you know, jabbing your way or, or whatnot. When I started, I read the Scott Cunningham books, and I just recently discovered the Bucklands book, which is very, very dry and very, very, very much a lot of information um, and coven-oriented, but if you want to learn Wicca, holy fuck, read this book. Um, but literally, just go to a bookstore and pick up the first book and read through it and see if it answers any questions. You don't need to go and start buying the altar stuff and the tools and the this and the that and the blah, blah, blahs. You just need to get a book that will answer some of your questions. And then after you've read that book, ask yourself if, if this is the path for you, if it makes sense, you know. Witchcraft is not something that we do because it's cool. You might see us with our herbs and our candles and that might look cool, but this is a very serious practice. I, I have a lot of sass and humor and craziness when I do these videos. That's because sitting here telling you in a monotone voice that you should go pick up a book on Wicca and maybe you're a witch and maybe answer some questions or ask some questions to other witches you know is very boring as fuck. But there's an actual element of truth there. If you know other witches, ask them questions. Don't be afraid to ask questions. 
Don't be afraid to read books. Don't be afraid to watch YouTube videos. But this still doesn't answer your question. Am I a witch? I don't really think anybody but you can answer that question. And I'm just one more YouTube video in a billion fucking YouTube videos telling you about Wicca and blah, blah, blah. Nobody fucking cares. But if you're, if you're gonna ask me, Adam, how do I know if I'm a witch? Take a look in the mirror. Are you a witch? Are you interested in the long, laborious study that's required for the craft and for the religious element, if that's the part you want to go down? Are you ready to submit yourself, essentially, your entire life to learning, always, always learning, and devotion, and practice, and questioning, and, you know, it's not just about the fancy tools, and the herbs, and the, the pretty nails, and I don't have pretty nails, but let's pretend I had those, like, long coke nails we always see in all of the witchy videos, but you have to really ask yourself if you're cut out for this because it's not just as simple as lighting a candle, saying a little incantation, and walking away and becoming a millionaire. It doesn't fucking work that way. As my favorite YouTuber, CatWMagic, otherwise known as Diane, would say, you can't, and I don't even think she started this saying, somebody else did, but whatever, I heard it through her. You can't become a millionaire if you don't buy the fucking lottery ticket, okay? So don't think, you know, some candles, some incantations, some bullshit oil you made and that's gonna make you a millionaire, honey. There's a lot of work that goes into this. And that's the other thing you need to be prepared for is a lot of work. You need to be feeding your spells, working at your rituals, working in your book of shadows, and it, it doesn't need to be a daily thing, okay? So just before you flip your fucking lid, it's not an eight hour, every day, seven days a week, 365 day thing. But it does take a lot of work and it does consume some time, whether you're reading books, studying tarot, or whatever it is. It does take a lot of time, and there's a lot to learn. A lot. And there's a lot of bullshit out there. Like me! But other than that, there's a lot of actual bullshit out there. Okay? So if you're asking yourself, am I a witch? Is this the path for me? Just take a look in the mirror. And, and ask yourself, are you ready? Are you seriously ready to seriously, you know, start learning, start questioning, start, you know, practicing and, and all that? For the first year, here's what I would suggest. For the first year, just read and watch. Read everything you can get your hands on and watch every YouTube video from some of the popular witches. I'm not a popular witch, so I don't know why you're here. But, watch every video, read every book, ask every question you can. And then after that year, that's when you really decide, is this the path for you or did you just waste a whole year of your life and probably a shit ton of money on books you'll never read again, okay? So I hope that answers your question. And while this entire video has been taken as a humorous approach, I'm actually quite deadly serious. You, you literally should, for the first year, read every book you can get your hands on. Watch every YouTube video you can literally find on the subject, whatever it is that you want to practice. Ask every single question you can think of in any kind of social environment or to anybody you know that practices. And after that year, literally wonder, is this the right path for me now that I know more than I did coming into this? Do not buy the crystals and the altar stuff and the candles and the herbs and all that shit. Just read. Just absorb for 365 days. If you can do that, if you can learn, if you can absorb, if you can be a sponge, then maybe this is the path for you. But if you can't and you, you think that, oh, I need this black candle. You don't even know what to do with the black candle for starters. Go read a book on what black candles do. 
But that is literally the point here, is that you should read everything. And even after the 365 days and you decide, this is the path for me, this is where I want to go, continue reading. Get every book you can, get every YouTube video you can, get every podcast on the subject, get every song written on the subject. Just absorb it all. Fiction and non-fiction and biographies and documentaries. You need it all. All of it. And then there's the practicing. Oh. You, you, you gotta be, you, you can't light a candle and walk away. No, you, you gotta feed that spell. You gotta put your intentions in. You gotta put your energies in there. You gotta learn how to raise your vibrations, raise your energies. You gotta, you gotta learn what sage does as opposed to what rosemary does and how they're both kind of the same, but they're different and their correspondences and the different moon phases. And then you gotta learn all of the different times of the year and what does this tool do and what does that tool do and what's a god and what's a goddess and do I wanna work with Hecate because maybe I don't wanna go down the Wiccan path. Maybe I just wanna be a goddamn witch or I wanna be a hoodoo priestess so I should learn everything I can. Are you getting what I'm saying? There is a lot of learning and just spend the first year absorbing as much as you can okay so remember hit that subscribe button definitely give this a like because i know i've got enough fucking haters on this goddamn channel go into that description box and find the paypal link and donate to your heart's content all of the money that you donate does not go to my personal funds. It goes directly back into the witchy show so we can do arts and crafts and cooking editions and more and more videos because this is fucking expensive. And also make sure that you share this video and comment and leave video responses and basically interact like a human bag. A human bag. Yes, a bag of human that you are. Okay? Love, love.